starving. We have not eaten today. It's been a busy day already. <clears throat> And I gotta make a prison meal. We're dealing with a lot of things today. We're back using the PowerShot camera for this video. I wanna show you guys some of the equipment After Prison Show is using in this video as well. And this is just gonna be a really awesome video. Look at what we got in here. I mean, we basically got like the prison essentials. This pantry cabinet is basically like my locker in prison, right? We've got our saltine crackers. We've got our sausage right here. I'm living like I'm still in prison. When we go grocery shopping, it's basically like I'm going to commissary. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use me some crackers. Got my prison bowl. One ramen noodle, a little bit of crackers, maybe some cheese, and maybe some tuna. I think that'll be good. Quick, easy prison meal. Just a couple of crackers, because Joe's on his diet. I posted some pictures on Instagram. Of, uh, of the weekend of my new girlfriend. You guys will be seeing her in this video as well. Maybe just a, a brief little glimpse. But with that, I posted this picture on Instagram and a lot of people were like, Joe, you've got the dad bod. Your daddy is fuck. Look at these shorts I'm wearing, for God's sakes. When you start wearing shorts above the knee, your super daddy is fuck. We've got our single ramen noodle. We're gonna put in just a little bit of crackers, just for that added sodium. So just half of this. Just a little flavor flave. And what are we gonna do for meat? We'll probably use the prison pouch. The prison salmon pouch is going in this meal. I need to heat up some water. We're gonna use one of these little Tupperwares. All right, there it goes. All right, we need some water, we're gonna heat that up. Look at what somebody sent us today, a uh, cast iron skillet. Shout out to Iron Madness who sent us this skillet. This is actually gonna be very handy, possibly for when my girlfriend wants to throw this at my head. The next video may be from the emergency room. But no, what we're gonna be using this for is for the next cooking video that we're gonna be doing really soon. And that will be coming this week and this is gonna be very handy uh, when we do that cooking video. This thing is, this thing is really heavy too. Now anytime you want to open up one of these pouches, you want to do what I just did right there, you want to... Sounds like sex, but you want to do that, that way you get the, the meat uh, down when you tear it, you're not losing any meat. Alright, that should be good. That's nice and hot right now. Just a little bit of water, not much. Hey, do we got any silverware? We got tattoo gloves, a bunch of spoons, and two butter knives. Oh, and we got some prison trays. Can you see Joe in prison like this? Man, put the food in mouth. That's how that would have went right there if I would have got buck inside the chow hall. I don't have a fork, so I got either a spoon or a butter knife to use. We're going with the spoon. So let's go ahead and stir that money up. The water has already been absorbed into the noodles, so we're going to go ahead and stir, and we're going to let that cook. How to make a quick prison meal. This is like a prison lunch meal right here, basically. This may just be a little too much water, but the good news is, is it's gonna come out the same regardless. So we're gonna go ahead and flatten that down just like so. Bung, 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 bung. Make sure it looks nice and nasty like some old folks home food. It's good. Tony, do you know where the lids are? Should be up there with them. But they're not. We don't have a lid, but we got a plate. A plate will work this thing. I am gonna put some pickle in this though. What better knife to use to cut up the pickle than a prison shank? Did somebody take a bite out of this pickle and put it back in here? It looks like somebody bit this pickle off. That's nice. That's nice right there. Ooh, that's a sharp ass shank. That's a sharp shank right there. Joe, why are you talking like that? Oh no, I almost cut my finger off too. Make a bowl right here. We're gonna start mixing this up. We got some pink salmon. What do you think about that? You ever seen fish in a bag before? Mm, 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 mm. Go on in there. Go on in there. The cat smells the fish. She's about to go crazy. She's looking. She's like, I see that fish in that bag. Throw that in there. Throw these pickles in here. Got the pickles. I think I got a ranch, a ranch pack back here. I'm about to throw that in here too. Hope this is still good. This is probably two years old, but. We gotta give it that authentic prison feel. So, you know, in prison, they're gonna give you shit that's super old all the time. This is as authentic as it can get. Two-year-old ranch dressing. Got some ranch. Oh, God. Oh, God, look at her. This ain't for you. Hopefully, this is about ready. Aggie, please. Please, girl. 
Let me live over here. This is something you never gotta worry about in prison is <laughs> Aggie! We're, we're trying to film a video, Aggie! Please! Oh. Alright, put a little layer of cheese on that money right there. She sounds like she's dying, she's though. She's crazy. <laughs> she's like, oh, you're making me custom food tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Aggie, are you okay? What is it, Lassie? Is Timmy down in a well? She's like, shut the hell up and give me whatever's in that bowl right there. It does smell like her food, though. <laughs> oh, that's a nice thought. <laughs> prison food, AKA cat food. And that's the prison meal right there. If I got any ranch dressing left, I'm gonna dress this up just a little better. Oh shit, I messed up already. I was gonna put some little lines on it. You know, make it look all fancy like some sushi. That's about as good as it's going to get right there. Delicious? I think so. If you don't think this is going to taste good, just listen to my cat. Because obviously she's already a fan of this. How does it taste though, Joe? It brings back those prison bars closing right behind me. My manners are horrible. It must have been something that I picked up from prison. But I just dived right into this prison meal. And I forgot to ask Cody if he wanted some of this. Cody! He's shaking his head back there. He's like, no. Just a real quick meal you can put together. Something good that you can eat in prison. I gotta tell you right now. This in prison is an absolute delicacy. Boy, you eating salmon in prison? Pink salmon from a pouch? Oh, you must be balling. Out here in the free world, though, when I show people uh, the salmon pouch, they look at me like I'm crazy. What? Where the hell did you get that? Is that like an antique throwback from your days in prison? But real quick, before we go any further, there have been people who have been tweeting to me here and there asking, what kind of equipment does After Prison Show use? And to think about this, the fact that I've been doing videos since the very end of 2015, right literally a month after I came home from prison, is when I started After Prison Show. But to think that then, when I came home and not knowing anything about technology, Technology, anything about equipment at all and seeing what works and what doesn't work I got to tell you it's been a real learning experience so right here in front of me basically what you're looking at this is where I film every day I'm sitting in the chair I've got the microphone that I use which is the blue Yeti mic that's what it's called right this is a blue Yeti microphone so I use the blue Yeti mic with the uh, windscreen right in front of it but everything else that you're looking at around me is either stuff that I've used in the past stuff that I've started out using with or stuff that I just don't use at all because it just really hasn't been a good fit for after prison show but this is the mic that definitely works the best again this blue yeti mic right here this thing is awesome this right here is crazy to even think about this little camera right here it's called a canon vixia uh, it's just a little flip camcorder type of thing and it's got zoom on it this is actually the camera that i started after prison show with this was the very first camera that i had when i started doing these videos it was a cheap camera i think it was like 150 bucks i bought it used i never had any problems with this camera it doesn't shoot the greatest footage, but if you wanted to start a YouTube channel and you didn't have a lot of money to do so, this is a great camera. I definitely highly recommend this camera right here. From there, we went to, uh, we didn't use this all the time, but we went to the GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero 3, I believe is what this is. Yeah, it's a Hero 3 Silver Edition. I bought this used. I think I paid like 150 bucks for this as well. I actually had to burn a little hole in the side of this camera. You know how hard it is to drill through a freaking waterproof case on one of these things? I literally like tried everything I could to get through this and what it ended up taking was me drilling through this and then burning a hole through it at the same time just to get this hole through here for this lavalier microphone a microphone like this that you know I would clip to my shirt a microphone that I also never used with this camera I think I might have used it one time with this camera right here so I basically drilled a hole in this waterproof case for nothing this was a great camera as well we had a lot of problems with this camera too I remember using this camera on interview videos one interview video in particular where I interviewed a guy by the name of Donovan who owns a restaurant after serving 11 years in prison. I literally had this camera positioned strategically. We had this camera that we're filming this video on positioned strategically as well. And this damn camera froze up in the middle of the interview and we lost like the entire second half of the interview. And that's not the first time this camera gave us those type of problems. This is a really good camera though it does have some problems as well. Also another cheap camera that you can get. But I like this Hero 3 right here. 
As far as microphones are concerned, these were the first mics that I ever bought for the show, which were these lavalier mics. Basically, one of these clips onto you, the other one goes to the camera, and you know, it clips on right here. It's real TV show professional-like is what I considered it. These worked really well for certain things, but I ended up not liking these so much because when I'm talking, <sighs> You know, you would actually hear me breathing in the background as well. So they were good, but they were also not so good as well. I'm sure if you got like better ones of these, they would be really good. This was just a cheap set of these. I think they're called Vid Pros, but these were really cheap. I think we paid like about 150 bucks for these as well. Another Vid Pro shotgun mic that we had. This mic with this camera, it worked really well. But then we moved on to this sucker right here. And this is the Boss Hoss of the cameras. This is our Canon 70D. This is a fucking expensive camera. I think this thing was like 1500 bucks for the full kit that we got. It came with the mic on the top of it right now. It didn't come with this windscreen that we got on it. This thing shoots like the greatest quality video of cameras that we have. The problem with this damn camera though is the fact that this thing is so finicky when it comes to microphones. This Rode mic that we ended up buying, whether it was this old shotgun mic, this old VidPro shotgun mic that we had, whether it was these lavaliers, whether it's this mic that's on the top of it, none of these damn microphones worked for this camera. This camera is only really good with one Rode audio mic that we don't have right this second. We're gonna end up getting it, I'm sure. Though this camera shoots like super great quality footage, it absolutely sucks for audio, which in turn has us using this Yeti mic uh, while we're filming with this. So we gotta record video on one thing, record audio on another thing. It's kind of really a pain in the ass to do all that too. You know, it's really not necessary for what you need to be shooting videos. I mean, yeah, it is a big, nice camera. It's nice to have that big, nice camera and all, but you don't need that. In fact, the camera that we're shooting this vlog on right now, or this video, is a damn Canon power shot. And I think this camera was like 500 bucks, but for the money, that camera right there, that camera right there that I'm filming on right now, that's probably the best camera that we've had overall. It doesn't take any kind of microphones. The sound on that camera is overall pretty good. The only issue with that camera is the autofocus. The autofocus does suck on it. So when I've been shooting videos on it and you see the background going in and out of focus real quick, that's the autofocus. And I don't think there's anything we can really do about that. But I did just want to give you guys a quick little tour of After Prison Show equipment wise, uh, what we're using, what's worked for us, what doesn't work. Again, the best thing that I can tell you in relation to if you want to do videos, if you're doing videos, if you're looking at equipment, like what do I need to get? Do I really need all this shit? Uh, the underlying thing about it that I can say is you really don't need the high end crazy shit. Like we bought this and though we use it all the time, we could have been doing just fine with this camera that we're shooting this on right now. I mean, that's the overall thing. Other than this equipment right here, we've got these lights right here. We've got one right here. We've got one over here. Lighting is super important to your videos. You do want to invest in lights. I can't emphasize that enough. We got three of these lights. There's another one over here in front of the green screen that we're not even using just yet. But we got these three lights for $150. So I'm thinking almost that a good rule of thumb is, is if it's $150, maybe up to $500 like what this camera cost, it's a good bargain. And that's really about all you need. As far as what we edit videos on, look at her. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's no tuna fish up there for you and you've already been eating the pouch. I can see you licking your little lips. You're guilty. You're guilty. So over here in the office, this is where we put it all together at. As far as editing software that we use, we use Sony Vegas. This is Sony Vegas 13. Is that what we're using? So we've got Sony Vegas 13. This is what we use to edit these videos. This is an awesome program, really easy to learn. I mean, unless you have absolutely zero editing experience, but you can YouTube how to use this equipment, how to use this software right here. And it's, it's pretty cut and dry. I mean, it's really simple. You can see right here, I've got some video clips already put on here. I think this is actually from the vacation. There's gonna be some things on this video clip that you're looking at right here that you're gonna be seeing in this video right here. I wanted to just give you guys just a little rundown of After Prison Show, a little bit of behind the scenes stuff that you probably haven't seen yet. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Maybe you've learned some things from it. If so, 
that's really awesome i'm gonna go ahead and end this video and leave you with something really awesome i want to show you guys this drone video that i shot while on vacation over the weekend this is a really awesome video i think i put this together yesterday and i, I really want to share this with you i think you guys are really going to get a kick out of this so with that i'll go ahead and wrap this video up saying hey look i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it and as always until next time enjoy life the free world never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day peace hannah say hello hello beautiful wifey future wifey please say hello Hi. oh my god she's so shy <laughs>